The Complete Guide to Microsoft Outlook 2013 Messages and Messengers Another Computer Mama Guide The image in your email draws attention to your company, your products, or your brand. In the previous lesson, we used the styles to format the text. In this lesson, we're going to go a little further and use the themes to format the entire email. Messages also include actions. The actions can be tracking, delivery, receipts, even voting. Each email can be loaded with follow-up flags and receipts. Every word that I say or text or email is a messenger. The question is, what type of message am I sending? In a digital age where nothing is deleted, it's something to consider. So, if you are ready, please start the program Microsoft Outlook and go to the inbox. Hello, inbox. In this lesson, we're going to create several sample emails and address them to ourselves. Go to Home, New, New Email, and enter your email address. Enter the subject, Message Themes, and type the message text. Charlotte's website, from the farm to your table, that's fresh. Keep going, please. Let's use the quick styles. Select the text, Charlotte's website. Go to Format Text Styles and choose a style. Heading 1. Select the second sentence, from the farm to your table, and go back to the styles. Choose Subtle reference. Keep going. Now let's modify the style with our own corporate colors and themes. Go to Format Text Styles and click on Change Styles. Select a style. This one is called Lines. Stylish. Apply a theme. Styles format the text, and themes are applied to everything in an email message, including the text, pictures, shapes, and graphics. The themes are on the Options ribbon. Go to Options, Themes, Themes, and choose the theme called Ion. Let's modify the theme. Go to Options, Themes, Page Color, and select a light color. This one is Gold Accent 3. Lighter 80%. What do you see? The message should have a light gold page color. Now let's add a picture. My cursor is placed in front of the first word, Charlotte's. That's the anchor. Go to Insert Illustrations Picture and browse to the folder where you saved your downloads. This one is Farm 1. My picture is selected so the picture tools are available. Go to Picture Tools, Size, and change the height to 2. You can type the number or use the arrows if you wish. This looks a lot like Microsoft Word, doesn't it? And it is. The picture is still selected and on the right-hand side are the layout options on a quick click. Please select Wrap Text Square. This will place the picture to the left-hand side of your email message. Here are a few more message options since we're looking at the Options ribbon. In the upper left-hand corner are the fields. By default, you usually don't see the BCC field or the From field. BCC means Blind Carbon Copy. Names added to the BCC field cannot be seen by all recipients. BCC is usually used in adversarial relationships. You can use the show fields to click it on or click it off. Now you see it. Now you don't. When you are ready, click send. A new email should arrive in your inbox that has themes and options. Okay, start a new email and enter your new email address. The subject line is tag your it. Okay, now let's tag this message. Go to Message, Tags, Follow-up, and select Tomorrow. 
keep going. Go to Message, Tags, and select High Importance. This places the red exclamation point on your email. When you are ready, click Send. A new email message should arrive in your inbox. It is tagged. It is marked as important and it has a flag for follow-up. So how do you use the follow-up flags? Go to the Sent folder and select the message we just tagged. Click on the follow-up flag. What do you see? There are several flag options. Please click on Mark Complete. Flags are a good way to follow up on your email, but there's more. Microsoft Outlook can track your messages. Create a new email message, Home, New, New Email. Enter your address and enter the subject, Speedy Delivery. Now, set the tracking options. Go to Options, Tracking. Select Request a Delivery Receipt, and now click on Send. A new email should arrive in your inbox. A second email should arrive shortly. This is a confirmation receipt. The symbol looks different than an email message. If you click on it, it tells you when the message was delivered. This is server to server, so it's a confirmation that it got there. Here is another tracking option. Create a new email and address it to yourself. This subject is Read All About It. The ribbon that I want is Options and the group that I want is Tracking. Put a check mark in Request a Read Receipt. Click Send. A new email message should arrive in your inbox. What happens if you double click to open the email? A window should pop up asking if you want to confirm that you are reading this email. This is for the user, so as a user you really can opt out and not say that you've read this. For our lesson, please click OK. Now what do you see? Another email should arrive shortly. This is the read receipt and the symbol looks different. It has a green check mark. This is the date and time that your email was read by the recipient. There's another way to use tracking that's called voting. Try it. Go to Home, New, New Email. Please enter your own email address and if you can, add one or two friends. Enter the subject. Do you have time for lunch? Now, go to Options, Tracking, and click on Use Voting Buttons. There are several options. Please select Yes, No, Maybe. Click Send to email the message. The recipient should receive a new email message with the subject, Do you have time for lunch? I am showing you Microsoft Outlook Web Access, and Elizabeth is going to respond, Yes. There will be a prompt whether or not you wish to edit the email before it is sent. Keep going. Back in Glenn Glick's inbox, the votes are in. You can click on a message to see the responses. A new window should display the information from all of the votes. The banner has a total of who has voted and who hasn't, and the details section shows you who said what. Let's try this again. Everything in Microsoft Outlook can be customized, and so can the voting buttons. So let's decide what we want for lunch. Create a new email message and address it to yourself as well as one or two partners if possible. And enter the subject. Vote for lunch. Let's set the tracking options. The ribbon that I want is options. The group is tracking. This time click on custom. You can enter your own voting options. You just have to separate them with a semicolon, not a comma. So in this example, there are three different lunch options, Big Boys, Tomato Bros, and Yum Yum Tree. Click Close. You'll return back to the email message. And now click Send. This is the recipient's email box. A new message should arrive with voting buttons, and they can choose what they want for lunch.
When the votes come in, you can click on the banner to view the voting responses. Very good. That's a simple lesson on voting buttons. Now let's look at some of the other message options. One of the effective options is to delay your delivery until next week or even later tonight when network traffic is light. Try it. Go to Home, New, New Email. Enter your address and a subject line. You can add a picture or sample text if you wish. Now, the ribbon that I want is Options and the group is More Options. Click on Delay Delivery. What do you see? You can set the date and time that you want an email to be sent. It works rather well. Enter today's date and set the time for delivery sometime at the end of the day. Click OK and send the email message. What do you see? If you go to the folders group on the left hand side, your message is waiting in the out box. It is programmed to wait there until the time you decided. Very good. Sometimes it is useful to have someone else respond to the email message. Try it. Go to Home, New, New Email. Please enter your address and a sample subject. Now go to Options, More Options, and click on Direct Replies To. What do you see? The same window options opens that we saw a minute ago, but this time, change the delivery options to have replies sent to someone else. When you click Close, you'll return to the email. Now click Send. A new email should arrive in your inbox. If you click on Reply, you'll notice that it's not addressed back to the sender, but to the other person you chose. OK, one more option. Please give me a new email message that's addressed to yourself. Enter the subject and, if you wish, you can add some pictures or text. Go to Options, More Options, and More. That's the arrow in the bottom right corner. There are some options at the top of the property sheet that we should look at. The settings include the importance. You can also change the sensitivity settings. This one is private. Close to return to the email. Send to send it off. A new message should arrive in the inbox that is marked as private. Ali Ali and Free, I think we've clicked on every button in the option ribbon. You done good. You get the cookie. This is the Computer Mama, and thank you for coming.